What is up everyone? Night Fury here from Tales of the Tome, going back into more Pokemon Academy Life Forever. Now, in the last episode, uh, we managed to rescue Sabrina from whatever's going on in the forest. I suspect that there's something still there since we haven't figured out exactly what the source of the hypnosis, as Nurse Miriam has called it, is. Um, so there may be something more to that. I don't know. But... We have also done our rank up scene for level three with Sabrina. Speaking of which, I've got a lot of other level up scenes with people. Um, I've got a level two level up scene with Nessa, who if I want to get closer to Sonya, I need that. So, um, I'm going to try and do some of these level up scenes, I think, for the weekend, just to get them out of the way. And I mean, it's the weekend. Usually nothing really happens on the weekend. I say that and somehow feel a foreboding that that may not be the case, but I would like to just be able to get those things done, not have to worry about anything else for the rest of the week, because... This has been a crazy one. So, with that, let us begin today's video. <clears throat> wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Time to get up and drink the coffee I makey. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Because I know there's no, no way my roommate, Leaf Grisidia Green is waking up at this time of day. Oh, I woke up even earlier, Sleeping Beauty. And why shouldn't I? Today's a big day. It is? What? what how, how do you figure? Why don't you give it your best guess and I'll tell you if you're right, lad. Uh, you're gonna oh are we not there yet not at the i imitate your 60 year old best friend level what oh you're trying to imitate professor oak no we're there i'm just genuinely disturbed at how accurate it was <laughs> i'm kind of the best get dressed and meet me in the suite sure Wait, how do you know I'm not dressed already? Oh, that would be the cameras I've planted all around your room. I'm calling the cops. You've got a psychic girl halfway across campus who lives in your head. I cannot be the perpetrator of your greatest privacy violation. Hey, she doesn't live in my head. She just kind of drops by and crashes on the couch sometimes. For a little while. Certainly not hours and hours of, you know, basically video chatting or anything like that. Whatever, at least I'd charge her rent. Now come on already. You hear Leaf leave the door. You spend a little bit of time looking through your possessions just to make sure they aren't actually any cameras, but immediately you feel bad for doing so. Hmm, no keyhole on the door. Guess she was just joking. Maybe she just knows you well enough to guess that you sleep without a shirt on or something like that. Yeah, probably. No hat. Hiccup, it's an important day today. Can you guess what it is? Your birthday? No, but it's September 28th, so write that down. I'll be expecting a big cake. We've been talking about it enough. I've made plans. We're going to go into the city today. I've got everything sorted out, so don't worry about it. Thanks. This is actually my first day ever, so uh, I appreciate you taking the lead here. Uh, your first day ever? How'd that happen? Blue. Oh, right. Are you ready to go? Yeah, in a moment. Let me just slip into something more comfortable. 
<laughs> new threads? Very flattering. I mean, new threads. Very flattering. You're not wearing your hat. I guess you aren't balding after all. You cocky prick. Come on, Hiccup. Let me add him. One quick shot to the nuts. That's all I need. Just one good rustling of the jimmies. One good plunder of the family jewels. You don't need my permission for that. <laughs> Whatever. What are you two doing? Going out to the city because we know how to get along. Tch. You know, you were actually somewhat tolerable Monday night when we were playing Inferno and Logos. And when you asked if you could train my Dratini, I mean, you were almost polite. I misjudged you when I first met you, like, a month ago. I thought you were an insecure, swaggering little twerp who used too much hair gel back then. I know better than to assume this is actually going anywhere, but let's pretend. But now I n get that you just act like an insecure, swaggering little twerp. But you still too much use too much hair gel. So my question is, why? Why do you make a... Why do you make being around you so difficult for everyone, even for yourself? I had some wild idea that maybe being doormates with you would make you easier to get along with, and then when I saw Yellow, I thought I finally got what you were all about. But now I'm back at square one. Maybe if you stop treating me like a game, you'll stop landing on the squares that send you back. Oh damn, that was good. You come up with that one, or was it Yellow? I don't think that's important. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that your Dratini's doing fine. Gained a bunch of experience. Strong-willed little worm, but we're getting along well. Not used to dealing with such a prideful Pokemon, though. Oh? Does, um, she talk about me? What are you talking about? Well, you always train with Yellow. I thought maybe you'd know how she feels about me. I don't know. Maybe Yellow does. You can ask her. Yeah, maybe when she gets back. Back? Back from where? Uh, I don't know. She just made coffee this morning and left. I think she said she was looking for something? <laughs> What's she doing? What, did you have plans? No! Certainly not any sort of picnic-related date plans. <laughs> That'd be just stupid, because... You're dumb! Oh my god, you totally did! Sh shut up! We weren't just going on a picnic as a way of me apologizing or whatever. You know, what happened last Wednesday? What happened? Oh right, you weren't here there f You weren't there for that. Yellow, he doesn't need to know. I'll tell you what Yellow's doing right now if you let me finish. Like you know. Why would I lie about this? Actually, better question, what makes you think I could lie about this? You were around for the past week, right? Psh, Ethan's got the same power as you, and he lies all the time. What? No, he doesn't. Yeah, you're right. I'm just lying for no reason. Looks like you got me, detective. Well done. You're a little dick, you know that? Whatever. Yellow's going to look for a picnic spot. Apparently you got in fights with other picnickers too often for her to trust you to do it yourself. She s said that? Not those exact words, but yeah. Since you're so nosy about it, and this whole picnic thing is happening because she blew up at me, she said, sh she said we never get to do what she wants. Well, apparently what she wants is to go hike out into the woods and sit in some rotten leaves and eat some... eat some... Wait, no, she wouldn't have, would she? Wait, you don't think she went out into the forest, do you? Most of our picnics have been in the forest, have been in forests. She really likes them, but I don't think that, I mean, we've had announcements every damn day. Every day this week, the deans grabbed the intercom and told us that entry into the forest is prohibited. She wouldn't just blow that off, would she? Wait, she's in the nurse course, right? Yellow was helping me talk to Tia yesterday, and I think she mentioned that. Yeah, fully. So, she doesn't take elective classes? No. No. Wait, Janine doesn't take elective classes either. Remember what she said yesterday night? She didn't know that the forest had been reclosed. 
That means she'd never heard the announcement. Okay, hold on. Surely she must get announcements at the end of her nurse courses as well. I don't know. You don't know? No, I don't know. I know who would. Come on. I need to get my hat. I need to change my clothes. All right, fine. Get your stuff. Then let's go. This is kind of important. Hey, Tia. Tia smiles happily and signs a few simple words at you. Alas, even this rudimentary con communication escapes you. <sighs> Alright, nurse, nurse voice. Hello, you three. Can I help you? Yes, we just had a bit of an odd question for students in the nurse course. Where are they at around 11 a.m.? Um, 11 a.m. Well, they'd probably been one of the recovery rooms like this. You notice Blue's eyes immediately begin scanning the ceiling for an intercom system. Okay, do they do the recovery rooms have an intercom system? No, not usually. We don't want an intercom going off and waking up patients who's resting. However, medical personnel such as myself have an earpiece that we use to communicate with each other. It's whisper quiet. A wonderful piece of technology, I'd say. It was originally used on non-verbal patients, but found use amongst most caregivers. And, well, I'm sure you'd rather not be poured by the medical history of aural enhancers. You're right, though, Hiccup. These are odd questions. Why are you asking? Every day this week, we've had an announcement after our first elective period that the forest is off limits. Oh. So, when you went into the forest this week? No, 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 I was allowed to. I had special permission from the disciplinary committee. <laughs> well, thank you for letting me know. There's another student out there, isn't there? Y no? Okay, but if there is or you learn of one, you really should tell someone responsible. Y yeah, obviously. <laughs> What's up with him? You and your doormates leave the infirmary swiftly. Hmm, Tia, I think they might be able to use your help. Okay, I don't know what that looks about, but okay. We can't tell anyone yellow left. Why the hell not? Didn't you hear the announcements? Every damn time Dean Drayden said that rule breakers will be expelled. You battled, like, a ton of people in front of the battle hall. Yeah, and Ethan was running interference then. And even if he failed, I'd be the one punished. But this is Yellow's school life on the line. I can't even claim I, I don't know, forced her out of... Forced her out there. You know how impossible it is to defend her? She just gives up immediately. Heck, she'd turn herself in. Blue, it was an accident. Dean Drayden's reasonable. He'd understand. You'd expect him to understand because people understand you. They always do. That's your literal superpower. The rest of us have to actually work to convince people of shit. I... Blue, shut the hell up! We're on the same damn side. We're on the same damn team. We live in the same dorm. Stop whining. Stop complaining that no one wants to help you. And just accept our help. I have been hearing people all week call me a freak. Say I get stuff I don't deserve, even insult shock jaw. Contrary to appearances, it is getting to me. I don't need you putting on this act too. Sorry, I know you're under a lot of stress right now too. I'm just so freaking tired of your... Victim complex, all right? I'm tired of hearing it. Sorry. He yeah, let's let's just go. Hold on, we can't get started without a plan. From what I have been told of the Hiccup Rescue Team, that seems like your department. We're gonna need to talk to two people before we get started. Your old roommates, Blue. What, the fat guy in the glasses nerd? What? No, Sharon and Nate. Oh, that makes more sense. But why them? We need to make sure that we're doing this all above board. 
Hiccup, Blue was a little bit right. If we don't get permission to do this rescue ahead of time, then we might be in a little bit of trouble when we get back. I already got permission from Sharon earlier this week. Was it through the weekend? Mm, no, I don't think so. There we go then. Okay, what about Nate? Nate told Ethan and I that there's some sort of really powerful dangerous Pokemon out in the forest. He's been trying to get info on it apparently the entire school year. That's how he justified trading off everyone else's information anyway. I've seen him battle in my electric type classes and I've got a hunch he could really help out. Also, he owes you one hiccup. Fine, who do we go to first? I'll handle Nate, you handle Sharon. Blue, go back to the dorm and wake Ethan. We'll want him too. Blue looks like he's about to argue, but just sighs and stomps his foot before briskly walking off. Okay. Okay, It is. is it like wrong of me to say that that was like incredibly hot? And I kind of want to see you yelling more. You are probably one of the most down bad girls I've ever met, Leaf. We'll have to dissect that later, though. Yeah, okay. Meet you back at the dorm. You run briskly to the disciplinary committee's office. Your mind racing with all the things you want to say to Sharon. And, of course, all the things you probably should say. And all the things that you probably shouldn't say. There is a little overlap. Pick up. Sharon? Silver? What? Nothing, I just didn't want to be left out. Is there something I can do for you? You assisted in res rescuing Instructor Will. You managed to rescue Sabrina Natsumi before our own efforts yielded any fruit. You even managed to rescue Bianca Vongol. Or should I say Tia, as it seems she is more commonly called. By any fair metric, you're a hero. What further business does the Pikachu wielder hero of Kobocon have with us? The job's not done. Beg your pardon? There's a student called Yellow out there in the forest. Oh. Oh, Yellow! I know her! Yeah, so do I. Everyone knows Yellow. So, you want to ask permission to take a rescue team out to find Yellow? Am I correct in your intention? Pretty much. Go. What? Just like that? You've rescued three others this week alone. It would be pointless to deny your skills and foolish to deprive myself of another way... Or enough to deprive myself of another way order might... Okay. To deprive myself of another way, that order might be restored to this school. That being said, we disciplinary committee members will of course go out and search for the missing student as well. I might suggest you form a team of like-minded individuals. You're good at that. One step ahead. As expected. I would ask a favor. A favor? Yes, a favor. Only one. I would have you battle one of us. Your choice. A single battle. Battles are permitted in our office as long as we clean up after ourselves. This is not some sort of trick. Mm. You, Sharon. Oh. Oh, there's no denying I'm the weakest amongst us three, but I'd suggest not picking me just because you're certain of an easy win. Are you sure? It's not because you're an easy win. It's because I need to take you down a peg. Very well. Why so serious? Alright. I think... Does Perlin double as a dark type? Guess we'll find out in just a sec. Or it could dig. Fact. Okay. Um, I'll just switch to. Yeah. 
Yuri for now. Alright, well, that's your choice to make, I suppose. Stoutland, or Herdier. Okay, I'm pretty sure this might be one of the Pokemon that has um, whatever that ability is that lets normal types hit ghosts. So, um, I'm going to switch for... Tarantulas. Nope. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay, let's get Mozart out. Let's use Fury Cutter. Could this work even though it's... Nope. Oh, well, it was worth a try. But we'll do Fury Cutter again. p -dub. All right. My best bet, because it is a flying type, is probably Shock Jaw. Someone's going to have to take this hit. Alright, let's hope Tarantulas is fast. Yes! Nice. <clears throat> I'd call this an expected outcome, not one I'm particularly fond of, but the expectancy lessens the impact somewhat. You performed well. Pick up you may go. Be the man everyone thinks you are. Return home safely. You leave. Why did you want us to battle him, boss? Because that man is the greatest threat to this school's safety and security. A simple, kind man. But the sword he pulls from the stone can bring ruin, whether wielded by a kind man or a wicked man. Less bullshit metaphors, more plain talk. I wanted to see if we had to fight him. I wanted to see if we had to fight him, if we could beat him. Verdict? If there's even a 1% chance that that man is going to bring down the world, we need to take that as an absolute certainty. Maybe. All three of us together could. Possibly. But I doubt it. There you are. Blue and I already found our people. What's taking you so long? Sorry, Sharon wanted me to battle. Did you win? Duh. That's my dormy. Well, whatever. Let's... Wait, isn't that... Sabrina! I'm surprised to see her here. I heard that. That someone was in danger. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have been listening. I just thought... Maybe there was a chance that... You want to help? If... I mean, if you... How far does your mind reaching reach? Uh, um, several miles, if working through a pre-existing connection. Great. Can you reach out to Yellow? I've never talked to her before. Hmm. But do you have to be talking to the person to establish the connection? Couldn't you just reach out and look for her, like, 
sockets to connect to? No, that's not how my power works. I mean, I don't think so. Might be worth a try? It is easier to establish the connection closer to the target. Take Raihan. Heck, take Nessa, Sonya, and Rosa too. They've all been into the forest before. They can guard you while you're trying to establish a connection. What? What's wrong? What if I get taken over again? I was out there for, for a week. I should be dead, shouldn't I? What if... Hey, if that happens again, we'll just rescue you again. We? It won't happen, though. Raihan and Rosa... Sorry. And Sonia are really strong trainers. You'll be fine with them. Really? You're not talking up Rosa? I actually beat her in gym class a while ago. I know, it's the craziest thing. Okay, I'll try. Thanks, Sabrina. Oh, but make sure to get permission from Sharon as long as you're with Raihan. The, as long as you're with Raihan, though, you should be fine. And for what it's worth, I thought it was really screwed up what happened. I, um, thank you. Yeesh, I get the heebie-jeebies talking with her. Hey, that's my future girlfriend there. Don't be dissing her. Why? Like, half of the conversation we just had was in my mind. Oh, yeah, she does do that. She's nice, though, really. Sure, not arguing that. But I kind of wish I could, like, put up a gate in my mind and only open it sometimes, you know? She probably wishes the same. Right. Anyway, uh, let's go back to the dorm. <clears throat> H. Nate. Man, why don't we ever get to get... Man, why don't we ever get together to, like, binge bad movies or whatever? It's always rescue this person or save whatever day. We've been dorm mates for barely a week, and we played a game on Monday. Leaf gave me a sight rep. There's no denying that I owe you one, H. And if a fifth student has disappeared into the forest, then I need to move. But this is a serious situation. There's a real danger out there. Not necessarily the kind of danger a Pokemon battle can solve. What? You can't do it? I can. My Poke Radar is, being abs is getting absolutely massive pings of psychic energy from the center of the forest, but there's some sort of interference blocking our path. I can't explain that, so I can't defend you from that. We can defend ourselves. I know you think you can. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Look, if a Pokemon attacked you directly, what would you do? What are you asking? I just battle it. No, B. I'm asking what you would do if a Pokemon attacked you directly. What would you do? I just... M my Pokemon would protect me. <laughs> okay. Okay, tell you what. I could use some company in the forest. B, H, you guys come with me. Afraid I'm gonna have to ask you and MC Squared to keep the bench warm, though, LG. Keep the bench warm? Hiccup's the one who got permission from Sharon to even go out today, and it's my rescue mission. I'm operating under an authority a bit higher than Sharon's, LG. <laughs> Sorry. And this isn't a rescue mission. It's an elimination mission. The Pokemon in the forest has been too much trouble for too long, and this is the last day I have to deal with it. Rescuing Yellow isn't my priority. Securing the forest is. But I'll try to help with your goal, if you can assist me with mine. Why are you giving me and state? Why are you giving me and Stamen the boot, though? Battling isn't everything, but I do, do need the best battlers with me. Ouch. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I sniffing glue, or are you the only person here who isn't part of the battle team? Yeah, I'm not much of a team player. <laughs> I, I say as I get a team together. <laughs> That's BS. What do you... What do you want me to do then? Just stay back here on campus and twiddle my thumbs? Tell Dean Drayden to come out to the forest's edge and bring his daughter if possible. Huh? His daughter? It's really important. I feel like you're lying. Ugh, fine. I won't fight this. Well, I'm not going to fight this. At all. Can I just... Oh, no you don't, mister. You're joining me. Yeah, I saw that coming. 
All right, let's move. You, Nate, and Blue head out to the forest. Although Nate leads the team at first, he eventually defers to your experience in the forest. You really seem to know this place. I've been here a few times, yeah. But it looks completely different from how it looked last time. Please tell me you're not gonna drop me into the forest right away. Okay, I think this is a good place to save before, I'm assuming, another dungeon. Okay, all my team is healed. Good, good, good. Alright. This looks like where we battled those two kissing cousins. Yeah, seems like a long time ago. <laughs> that was probably like, what, four weeks ago maybe? Hold on. It seems way too much like that. But that should have been close to the entrance. Is it really? It looks like his poke radar intently. Ah, oh, crap. That explains it. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna need you to just step away there, please. Sure. Come in, operator. Come in, B2 reporting. I'm .07 miles away from... Huh? No, sir. No, sir. Apologies. Sir, no, sir. Imminent danger, sir. High potential for civilian casualties. Mysterious concentrations of over 6, 7.6 hails. Natural, no registered unknown presence. Permission to utilize PWO5. Denied! It's, sir, there are people in actual danger here. We are in a mystery... <laughs> we are in a mystery dungeon. Actively, right now. No. No, of course not, sir. Then permission to use BEM774. I don't like working with 651, sir. Of course not, sir. Fine, fine. Ugh, one more day and I could have been out of here. You shouldn't eavesdrop, you know. What the hell was that? All of that? Just checking in with a friend. She knows a lot about mystery dungeons, though it might be helpful. Thought it might be helpful. Mystery dungeons? We're in one right now. It's what you call an area saturated in mysterious... Mysteriosity. Mysteriosity is... I actually know what that is. Great, then you know it's extremely strange that there's so much of it so close to an urban area. <laughs> I guess that's how the people here manage to survive so long. People in mystery dungeons don't get hungry or thirsty, just tired. And even then, that's only if they're moving around. W what does this mean for yellow? It means we need to hurry. You rush further into the forest. Quietly, a voice begins to make its way to your ears. P p please no, leave me alone. What? That wasn't. Move. Someone, please help. Here, the massive psychic disturbance is right here. Oh, for of course it's a hypno. Okay, I think I get the situation now. Get away! Yep, no. Blue, blue, you're you're here again. Of course I am. And now I'm gonna turn this hypno into a greasy yellow stain all over these trees. Wait, just just knock it out. It doesn't. Hiccup, here with me, right? Let's destroy this thing. Oh boy, I probably should make sure Blue doesn't commit a war crime. All right, stay on guard. Remember, this is just a Pokemon. No matter what it looks like, that Hypno isn't evil. Don't let Blue, you know. I'll tear you apart. That. Oh, jeez. All right, good thing I've got a bunch of bugs. All right. Let's get its accuracy down. Or, you know... Alright, fine. Let's switch out for Mozart then.
Right, you're asleep, so it won't matter. Um... Hmm... Let's try Gyarados. Yeah. Oh, this is a frenzied hypno. All right, fine. Wait, does this thing only know hypnosis? Okay, apparently it doesn't just know hypnosis. Try Electro Web. Just in case. All right. His health is down. I'm gonna try to catch it. If we don't catch it, we ditch it. Pokemon calm down from its frenzy, but it's forever all shattered. Please pick a Pokemon to send to the PC. I'll send you, since I don't really like Hypno very much. I'll call you, just so I'm aware. Um... Jeez, this is a hard one. I don't really... I don't usually catch Hypno, just because, like I said, I don't like them. Probably due to all the fan theories online. Um, I'll call you... Uh... I, I don't know. Uh, uh, Bob. No, that's stupid. Um. You just look like a pedo. Like everything about you says you're a pedo. Um. I'll just call you. Lil P. No, that's dumb. I'll, I'll call you Sleeper. Yeah, just Sleeper's fine. Why did you catch the damn thing? I was pretty sure you were going to commit a felony if I didn't. Yeah, maybe. What? The massive psychic readings I was getting from this part of the forest are still here. That means... 
Um, Yellow, are you all right? Did that hypno hurt you? Did it touch you anywhere it shouldn't have? N no, I just got lost a while w while I was looking for a picnic spot. Then this hypno jumped out from behind a tree and... You were crying. Oh, you know me. I'm a bit of a crybaby. <laughs> I... That hypno, I think, it was really upset, but I don't think it was really the hypno. It felt more like someone was talking through it. Talking through it? Yes, and it was holding a forever all. Hiccup, did you notice? I did, yeah. Of course, it uses the forever alls to whip these Pokemon up into a frenzied state, and then they're suggestible, controllable, so... Hey, instead of mumbling over there, why don't you tell us what you were doing during this fight, huh? You talked big, but not letting any sub You talked big about not letting any subpar battlers go with you, but then you didn't even participate. What were you doing? What was I doing? Aiming. What? Whenever there's an invisible Pokemon in the area, it leaves a slight shimmer of light around it, like a heat haze. I first noticed it about two feet up and behind Tia, and then, and there's another one, right there. What? Show yourself, Azoth one. Oh crap. It must have picked up that trick after fighting Tia. What? What? No, what? I'm not sure what you're asking. Is that a Pokemon? Is this another new Pokemon I've never heard of? The second in two weeks? It might be a Pokemon. <laughs> Either that or an Ultra Beast. Not entirely sure if I'm honest. Yellow, stay behind me. This is the entity known as Azoth One. Deoxys. Azoth One, what are your intentions with this planet? Deoxys. They're, they're afraid. They're running from something. A bad person. Wait, isn't that what Tia said too? Deoxys. They're... They're being chased. Someone's trying to take their treasure. Is... What's your treasure, Azoth? Deoxys. Well, I don't... I don't understand. They're becoming agitated. Azoth, if you can't un if you can understand me, I need you to surrender yourself into my custody. I'm a member of the Suddenly the strange creature lunges straight at Shockjaw. Shit, hiccup, watch out! Oh no you don't <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, we're uh, going in this alone. Okay. Okay, I've never actually fought a Deoxys before. I've never watched anyone fight one. Never saw the movies. So I have literally zero knowledge about this thing. Uh, <laughs> My best bet, of course, is to get the sand attack down. Keep this thing occupied. Don't let it get to Shockjaw. What am I, his damn guardian? Azoth-1 has the ability to absorb and assimilate genetic material. We can't let it get access to special, to that special Pikachu's power. <laughs> that rat only got its power by taking it from Azoth in the first place. To me, it looks like Azoth, Azoth is just taking back what Hiccup stole. Look, just don't let it get past you. Easy. I'll put this thing in the ground. Again. Wait, don't hurt them. Right now, we should be more worried about it hurting us. For the love of... Okay. We've gotta get its accuracy down, if we can. Keep holding on! I'm locking onto it now. H hey! This thing just one-shot my Pokémon! How much longer do you need me to hold on? Okay, if we gotta get that accuracy down... And he doesn't have anything that's super strong against this. Almost done. Charging. Get ready. Right, but hey, this isn't going to hurt it, will it? Is that seriously your priority right now? <laughs> Weird. It's tr torn through two of your Pokemon already.
I'm guessing my speed is not, it's not going to be enough. Let's get the execute out. Okay, I'm done charging. Get out of the way. I'm not sure this is the only way, Nate. I mean, we've got Yellow, who can tell what a Pokemon are feeling, and we've got Hiccup, who Pokemon just listen to. Can we try something else? Not until it calms down. And right now, it's in a frenzied state. It won't listen to us. Gah, hold off. Just one more round, all right? Um... That's not good. Execute switch out with Dratini. Hey, you two! Are you getting anything from it? It's completely shutting me out. It won't listen to me. It just mindlessly it's attacking now. That's enough, Blue. If you don't get out of the way, we're going to be hurt by... You're going to get hurt by me attacking. Wait, okay? Just wait. You ran away. Blue, what are you doing? I'm trying to not solve my problems by battling. You asked me what I'd do if Pokemon attacked me. If battling didn't work, well, here you go. Yellow, you're up. Azoth, we don't want to hurt you. We're not trying to take anything from you. We're just trying to... Ow. Yellow? You quickly rush to Yellow's side. She's gasping for breath from the impact of the creature's blow, but... Blue, she's still alive. Blue, I'll destroy you. You want to know what I'm sick of, Azoth? I'm sick of your goddamn railroad of Diablo Zex Machina. First, a super powerful rare Pokemon fell out of the sky and instantly latched itself onto my biggest rival. Then my rival's common rat ate a bunch of meteorite shards and his Pokemon got a massive power boost. And now, you fall out of the sky, get a Hypno to attack Yellow, and then hit her yourself. You're gonna pay. Everyone has something, some power, some gift, some friend that gives them an advantage over me. Look at where I'm standing. Hiccup has his Pikachu and Frenergy. Yellow can heal Pokemon. Nate's some kind of government spook. Even your other, even your other victims. Two of them are espers and one's a goddamn dragon. I am surrounded by some of the most powerful beings on the planet and I'm just a man. And every time I think I've finally caught up, something falls out of space and gets in my way. Well, you know what? I wasn't born with power. Everything I have, everything I've ever had, I earned and took. So guess what, space freak? I'm gonna take your power too! Die! Blue charges right at the creature. It apparently, not expecting this, as none of us were, stares at Blue with some sort of with a sort of silent bewilderment on its emotionless face. Which promptly meets Blue's fist. <sighs> yeah! How'd you like that? Oh my god, he's actually gonna die. Alright, gonna have to operate outside of the parameters I was assigned. Sir is really not gonna... Sir is really gonna thrash me for this one. <laughs> Azoth One, you have assaulted a human being. If you are capable of understanding the severity of that crime, you will stand trial. If you are not capable of understanding the severity of that crime, you will be restrained, retrained, and released once it is determined you are no longer a threat. You are instructed to stop fighting immediately, or I will use reasonable force to end this battle. If you've got something that can end this, then do it now! Azoth, under the authority of the International Police is Extraplanetary Affairs Bureau, I place you under arrest. What? What? PWO5, initiate the Fermi's... The Fermi's answer protocol. Excuse me? What? What is that? My mission. PWO5. Fire. 
There's a tremendous crashing explosion sound and your head rings as a huge wave of energy blasts past you. But you seem to be okay. Uh, what? I've neutralized it using a powerful techno blast. It's no longer a threat. No, again, what? Again, I'm not sure what you're asking. <laughs> Blue looks at his hand and quickly folds his arms in front of him, sticking his chin out defiantly. Tell us everything now. No more bullshit, half-truths, or lies of omission. Everything. I'll tell you everything I know. Easy stuff first, I guess. Call me Blake. My handlers call me Black Number 2, but that sounds like something you drop off in the toilet after drinking a lot of coffee, so I prefer Blake. <laughs> what? Your name isn't even Nate. Nope, it's Blake. Blake Hall Jr. Not ringing a bell? Blake Hall? Wasn't he a country singer? Uh, not exactly. I guess that's not important. What is important is that I'm a member of the International Police. An agent, actually. I'm part of the task force that deals with extraplanetary entities. Like this guy over here. Bull. You know how many Pokemon trainers who carry around cannon-wielding robot bugs? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just just because you have a special Pokemon doesn't mean that you're a cop. I'm not a cop. I'm an agent. Whatever! I was sent here by the International Police to investigate one of my classmates, but while I was here, that meteor fell. So that meteor... Yeah, but it wasn't just a meteor. It was actually a protective shell for an alien invader. I knew it! Well, one point for Skyla. So, as I mentioned, this creature is codenamed Azoth-1 by Interpol's EAB. We first discovered it when our scanners picked up a meteor headed toward Kobukon. The Latias, you call Tia, was sent to intercept it. Her family back home were the first people to recalculate the meteor's rebound location. Rebound location? The meteor fell once before, in Hoenn. It was going to wipe out the region, ca cause untold death and destruction. But somehow it was deflected, almost as though it hit a giant trampoline. All the governments of the world had their eyes on it, of course, so when the impact hour came and went, there was a mad scramble to find it. The astronomers of Altamare were the first to locate it. So, Tia wasn't in the meteor, and it didn't hit her. Instead, she was trying to destroy it. But it broke apart before it ever hit the ground. I'm sure you can guess that what was inside then. I'm not quite sure what it is, though. This... this is... this is a Pokemon. I can tell. Noted. Or should I say, nated. <laughs> Aren't I funny? You shouldn't. Tough crowd. So this, this Pokemon, that's what Scramps has been poking around and prodding at for the past three weeks? Fragments of its protective shell, yeah. Its true power is much greater than even he could have predicted, though. So, so this is what made the Forever Alls. Blue looks at his hand again. That's right. Really powerful Pokemon sometimes generate an aura of myst mysteriosity, too. If it's been in the forest for weeks undisturbed, I can imagine that it probably caused the mystery dungeon too. But it's been here undisturbed for weeks, like you said. Is it really a threat? I couldn't tell you that, but my orders are to bring it in for study. And the fact that it first appeared in a meteor that caused, that could cause an extinction level event isn't a good look for it. Not to mention that it punched you in the stomach. I don't get it. When I held the Forever Alls, I felt... A friendly power, like it wanted to give me what I wanted. If it's such a threat, why did they feel friendly? I don't know. I'm sorry. Can I... Afraid not. Seems to be able to assimilate genetic material into itself and copy their abilities. We don't want to give it the ability to heal itself any time, you know? It might wake up now. Oh. So this thing is what caused all of this? One second. Sir, these readings, extraterrestrial definitely, but not extra-dimensional. This doesn't appear to be involved with the UB project. No, sir. I chose to disregard orders. The risk of... Yes, sir. Standard Leith protocol, I understand. I will turn myself over to your authorities as soon as I have contained Az Azoth-1. Uh... It crushes something in his hand. 
Bye, sir. When we were roommates, you actually listened to what I was saying. My problems are arresting international criminals and securing dangerous and unknown Pokemon from space. It was, nice to, it was nice to listen to problems of your scale for once. I should have I shouldn't have kicked you out of the dorm. Hey, it's all right. Now that my mission's complete, it's probably better that you cut the ties before I have to wipe your memory anyway. What? Come on. You didn't really think I was going to reveal all this stuff and let you walk away with it, did you? Wipe our memories, huh? Can I opt out? <laughs> Afraid not. Sorry. I'm sorry. Down. Hey, sometimes when I do this, people want to, like, get something off their chest before th everything gets wiped. So if you've got any confessions to make, then eh, now's the time. I'm your fool. Huh? Blue, I've been a fool. Wait, what do you... I've been trying so hard, Blue. I've been trying so hard to get you to show that you're a better person, and it's exhausting. Every inch of progress is something I have to fight for, for ages. And I hate fighting. I need... I need you to try harder. I know there's good in you. I've seen it. You saved me today, just like you did back then. But my friendship is not conditional, or not unconditional. If you don't try harder, I'm giving up. I, I can't be the only one who sees the best of you anymore. I'm sorry, that's just something I know I could never say if you'd actually remembered it. I, I get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to you, Yellow. And to you, Hiccup. Neither of you deserve me. I'm sorry too, Blue. I should have tried harder to reach out when we were kids. Yeah, I was a kid, but... I enjoyed your grandpa's attention. Maybe a bit too much. I'm sorry. I asked to dorm with you, Hiccup. And Leaf and Ethan too. And you, of course, Yellow. That's why Falconer... That's why. He said, no way. So I nagged him, over and over and over. I thought if we were forced to live together, then maybe... It's time. You'll wake up on campus with no memory of these this morning's events. You will remember going into the forest, finding your friend, and leaving. But nothing about Azoth or me. Good. Let's get all this sappy shit out of our heads. How do we do this? We got a pen we look at? Something like that. Go BEM651. The f... Sure, why not? I wouldn't be surprised if this guy dropped Mewtwo at this point. BEM? Three foot three, native to Unova. Evolved at level 42, psychic type. And well known for being able to hypnotize people to erase and rewrite their memories. There goes the human Pokedex. I've been kind of off my game with all these new, never-before-seen Pokemon. I'm just reminding myself I'm really good when it comes to common Pokemon. Mind sending out your Pokemon? I normally don't bother, but since Yellow can talk to Pokemon, I've got to think about that too. I can't talk to Pokemon. <laughs> my bad. Hasta la vista, guys. I hope the next time I see you, uh, they give me a friendlier personality. Close your eyes. Alright, now teleport them back to campus. You wait for a numbness, or a blindness, or a lack of something. But oddly enough, you don't feel anything. Okay, I still remember going into the forest, rescuing Yellow, Blue's apology. If Nate or Blake didn't wipe that, what did he wipe? Uh huh? Oh, what were we talking about? Uh, we were, we were going to train, right? I thought, 
we were going on a picnic. Well, yeah, obviously. Come on, let's go! Okay, bye, Hiccup. Bye? That was bizarre. I swear I still remember everything, right? Buddy, do you remember what just happened? Uh, what are you talking about? I guess you don't, huh? You spend a while racking your brains, trying to remember what you forgot. No such luck. Well, if you forgot, then of course you wouldn't remember. You just know you were supposed to forget something. Well, I can't think of anything else to do, so... Hiccup, what are you doing? Are you back at school already? Yeah, we, uh, we found Yellow. What? Oh, jeez. Ethan is not going to be happy he was hiking through the forest for four hours for nothing. We were what? Gotta take this. Sorry, see you back at the dorm then. Yeah, see you there. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably... Let's see. Sabrina? Hiccup? Yeah, hey, I found yellow. And you know about Blake. I guess so, but I don't think I should. Did you have anything to do with that? No, nothing at all. I try to stay away, as far away from Blake as possible. It's dangerous for me to be around him. Yeah, I can understand that. Anyway, since I found yellow, you can come back. Yes, we'll be coming back shortly. Well, now what? Looks like I've got some time to kill. Okay, that was weird, but I think that's a good place to end this particular video, so for now, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I assume now we'll be able to do the weekend like normal and that nothing else will happen for the rest of the week, hopefully. <clears throat> Remember to like, comment, and or subscribe so that the videos can get the circulation they need and so that they will show up more often in your feed. Also, if you would like to support this channel beyond the normal YouTube subscription, feel free to check out my Patreon where you can offer a small donation each month and get certain perks like being credited in the credits of my videos or seeing behind the scenes footage before anybody else does so thank you all again so much for watching i'll talk with you later in the next video and that as they say is that